Lapis Lazuli by William Butler Yeats I have heard that hysterical women say they are sick of the palette and fiddle bow, of poets that are always gay, for everybody knows, or else should know, that if nothing drastic is done, aeroplane and zeppelin will come out, Pitch like King Billy Bumble's in, until the town lie beaten flat. All perform their tragic play. There struts Hamlet, there is Lear, that's Ophelia, that Cordelia. Yet they, should the last scene be there, the great stage curtain about to, to drop, if were they their prominent part in the play, do not break up their lines to weep. They know that Hamlet and Lear are gay, gaiety transfiguring all that dread. All men have aimed at, found and lost, blackout, heaven blazing into the head, tragedy wrought to its uttermost. Though Hamlet rambles and Lear rages, and all the drop scenes drop at once upon a hundred thousand stages, it cannot grow by an inch or an ounce. On their own feet they came, on shipboard, camelback, horseback, assback, muleback, old civilizations put to the sword, that they in their wisdom went to rack, no handiwork of Callimachus, who handled marble as if it were bronze, made draperies that seemed to rise when sea wind swept the corner stands, his long lamp chimney, shaped like the stem of a slender palm, stood but a day. All things fall, and are built again, and those that build them again are gay. Two Chinamen, behind them a third, are carved in lapis lazuli. Over them flies a long-legged bird, a symbol of longevity. The third, doubtless a serving man, carries a musical instrument. Every discoloration of the stone, every accidental crack or dent, seems a watercourse or an avalanche or a lofty slope wherein it still snows through doubtless plum or cherry branch, sweetens the little halfway house those Chinamen climb towards. And I delight to imagine them seated there, there on the mountain and the sky, on all the tragic scene they stare, one asks for mournful melodies, accomplished fingers begin to play. Their eyes, mid many wrinkles, their eyes, their ancient glittering eyes, are gay.